ones. Okay. Okay. So the thing is like this, that, uh, <coughs> you know, the Kriya Satoira of, of every Shabbos is based on the, the, the fact that we want to complete the Torah uh, every year. And uh, we divide the Sedris into 53 portions. So we should have uh, a Sedris to read every Shabbos. But the Kriya Satoira of Moyadim, the Kriya Satoira of Moyadim, are me in Yonoy Shel Yoyim as the Mishnah tells us in the end of Mesechtis Megillah. And the Mishnah over there lists the Kriyas of all the Moyadim and says that B'chanekeh, B'chanekeh we read what? B'nesim. B'chanekeh we read the, the, the end of Parshish Nosoi where the Torah tells us what the, the Karbonis the Nesim brought uh, at the time of Chanukas HaMishkon. So what in the world does this have to do with in Yone de Yoima of Chanukah, the Torah says, in the name of, in Tofresh Peidal, in the name of the Psikta, She nishlamo meleches ha-mishken be chofhei be kislev. That in the time of Moshe Rabbeinu, the, and not as, as uh, the simple reading of the Psukim would indicate that the meleches ha-mishken was nishlam berishchei dishnissen, but really, the Malachas HaMishkan was Nishlam be, be chof he kislev. But the fees there, so, I mean, the, the, the reading of the Karbanis HaNesim is based on something that has nothing to do with the Yom Tov of Hanukkah because we're not celebrating on Hanukkah the Hanukkah HaMishkan. So it's like Shnei Dvarim Shin is Damnu Lepundok Echod that on one hand, the Yom Tiv is a Yom Tiv from Hanukkah, which is based on the Nisim and the Flois that the Rebbein Shalom did to us at the time of Hanukkah. And the reading of the Torah is, uh, is going about the Hanukkah Sanasim because the Mishkan was Nishlam, even though actually the Hanukkah Sanasim took place Avada, uh, from Aleph Nis until Yod Beis Nisim. But since the Mishkan was already ready, that's why we read the Chanukah Sanasim. It's Chaps Gans Modna because it's not me in Yonah Shel Yom of the Yom Tiv. Yeah. But Damas, if you look in the Psikta, in the Psikta it says, in the Psikta it says that Omer Abchanina, Bechof Hei Bekislev Nigmero Meleches Hamishkin, Vosa Mekupo Ad Echad Benissen. It was folded up Ad Echad Benissen. Umeyata hifsid kislev. So kislev lost out because the Mishkan was already prepared. And nevertheless, we didn't begin the Avoidus HaMishkan in kislev. So hifsid kislev. Omar HaKadosh Baruch Hu alay l'shalei. HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, Kaviyochel, I owe a debt to Chodesh kislev. Ma shilem le HaKadosh Baruch Hu Chanukas Chashmoinoi. That Chanukah's Chashmoinoi that took place in Kislev many, many years later was somehow a payment of HaKadosh Baruch Hu to Chodesh Kislev for the fact that the Chanukah's HaMishkon ought to have been in Chodesh Kislev. Zoi bazoi, them is the, the Kriya, is Shaykh to the Inyon Shel Yom of the Yom Tov of Chanukah because Chanukah we rededicated the Mizbeach and the Mikdosh. And that rededication came about on Chofei Kislev because HaKadosh Baruch Hu Kaviyochu owed a debt to Chodesh Kislev for the original Chanukas HaMishkon that should have been in Chodesh Kislev. So this is the time that we read the Karbonis that the Nesim brought at the time of Chanukas HaMishkon. But that is... You know, it's still, it's kind of hard to understand how this is a payment. The Chanukah HaChashmeinoim is a payment to Chodesh Kislev for having lost out on not being the time of Chanukah HaMishkon. We know that the Chanukah HaNesim was a time, the Chazal say, there was a Simcha Lefonov Kiyoim Shenivru Boy Shomayim Voritz. We say, Vayihi b'yoyim kalois Moshe. Chazal say, Kekalo chadosho. That Klal Yisro was like a Kalo chadosho. 
So at that time, it was a real chinuch. Chinuch in the full sense of the word. You know, what's the word chinuch? Rashi says in Parashish Shoftim, on mi ha'isha shebona bayis v'loi chanochoi, zokt Rashi, v'loi dorboi. Chinuch, loshen haschola. Chinuch is a loshen of beginning. So, bona bayis v'loi chanochoi means he didn't live in that house yet because... Living in that house, the be- starting to live in that house, that's what's called chinuch, starting off something. So, that was the time that HaKadosh Baruch Hu began to live in the house. Like Chazal say, Basi Ligani, Liganuni, HaKadosh Baruch Hu came to his garden. Hashros Hashchene, Dira Betachtoinim, HaKadosh Baruch Hu began the doorboy in the Mishkan, which is really representative of in the world. But in Kislev, we're talking about something that took place in the midst of the time of the Bayez Sheni. It's not really a beginning. I mean, the fact that we needed to make a Chanukah was because Bo'u Pritzim V'chilu Luha. I mean, it's a result of a tremendous setback. Yeah, it's 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 it was only a new beginning, uh, it, it, because because the 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 were metame kol hashmanim because the yivanim broke into the beis hamikdash. So it's it's like saying you know when when we take a a small child to cheder the first time, yes, yeah, so uh, we celebrate, we celebrate. But chas v'sholem, if somebody uh, has a stroke in the middle of his life and he forgets everything he learned, then we have to start learning with him olive base again. I mean, we don't celebrate that chinuch. So here we're actually celebrating a chinuch, which is uh, not really a chinuch. And how is this the payback to Kislev for having missed out on the original chinuch, which was Yom Kalois Moshe, which was a time of beginning, where the Rabbani Shalom, the Hashroz Hashchina came into this world. And, and we, we and actually the name of the Yontav is Hanukkah based on that. It's even more interesting because the tour in Tov Ayin Reish says, There's no mitzvah of Mishte Vesimcha on Hanukkah. Shaloi. The Hanukkah is only a time of the Halal of the Hoid. It's not a time of Mishnah Vesimcha. So the Ramah in the Dark A. Moshe says, Because of Maharomi Prague, the Zelushoina, I will be more the Chai Ho'oroich, Kosav, in the name of the Megillus Tainis, that it says that the Yom Tov of Hanukkah is Shekovu Yom Tov Mishum Hanukkah Samizbeach. So they're asking, uh, the Gemara says that Hanukkah is based on the Nais. But we have other sources that seem to say that Hanukkah is based on the Hanukkah's ha- on the Chanukah Mizbech, the Migdosh in the time of the Chashmoynoi. So he says, V'yashloimar, the Mishum Ze Kavu Mishta V'Simcha. Aval Halalul Hoida is Kavu Mishum Nes. The Chain Mashman Pirish Rashi Zal. And the Ramo is Moise V'Efshe Shiloze Noagu Be Mishta V'Simcha. So in other words, the, these these uh, Rishonim are saying that there are two dimensions to Hanukkah. I mean, one is the dimension of the Neis Hanukkah, based on which we were koivea lohoidois ulahalo, and he's saying kach mashma barashi, because when the Gemara says my Hanukkah, and the Gemara brings the, the Neis of the Pach Hashemen, the Rashi says, why were they koivea at Bahal v'hoido? So this is all about the Bahal v'hoido. However, there's another dimension, and that is that it's Yemei Mishta V'Simcha. And why is it Yemei Mishta V'Simcha? Because it was a time of Chanukah Samizbech, a time of Chanukah Samikdosh. So you see that, that we're actually celebrating, and celebrating even in a more profound way, 
the 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 Chanukas ha Mikdash in the time of the Chashmonaim, and 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 what's interesting is we don't have any celebration uh, during Chodesh Nissan for the Chanukas ha Mishkan when it actually did happen. I mean, from Aleph to Yud Beis Nissan, we talk it. Don't say Tachanun, and in some sources it says that it's because it's the Yemei Chanukas ha Mishkan, but but. Uh, but not more than not saying Tachanun. We don't have Mishta Vesimcha. Yeah, the, 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 the days of the Chanukah's bias Rishon, which according to the Gemara Moed Cotton was from Zion to Yudalit Tishrei. Yeah, we don't celebrate the Chanukah's Habayis. The Chanukah's bias Shani was, uh, it says in Ezra, it was on Gimel Oder. We don't celebrate that either. And, and, and this, this Chanukah that took place in the middle of the Bayez Shani, which was a consequence of the Bo Pritz and the Chililua, and we had to rededicate the Mikdosh, that we make into a celebration according to these Rishonim of even, even Mechai of Suda, Mishta V'Simcha. Daf Menzog Mistama, that, that, that if, if we would only be going back to where we were, Avada, there wouldn't be any reason to celebrate. But the Emes is that even before the Nichnesu Yevonim Lahechol Vetimu Kolashmanim, it says that Nisrashlu Ba'avoyde. I mean, Klal Yisro was was in a in a in a in a low spiritual state, and therefore B'shas the Yeshua L'cha Asisa Shem Godol V'Kadosh Ba'Ola Mecha. We didn't just go back to where we left off, but. And we added new mitzvahs. So actually, <clears throat> the setback brought us further ahead. And therefore, we, we say that we, we, we thank Hashem not only on the Nisim and the Flois and Chois and the Chomois, but also Al Hamal Chomois. Because in the, through that conflict, there was a, an awakening of, of the spirit, and there was a hisoirus of Klal Yisrael, and we moved up to a higher madrege than we were before that. And therefore, even though this is a chinuch, a midlife chinuch, but it is a cause for celebration because we actually moved on to a higher level than we ever were before. We see that Aaron Hakoyan, you know. That at this time of the Chanukah Sanasim of the of the Mishkan, so Aaron felt bad because he didn't bring carbonus. And Hakadosh Baruch Hu was menachem him with neiros. Shelcha gdoila mishelohen shaato madlik umetiv es ha neiros. The Ramban says in the name of a midrash. That it's not the Neiros that Aaron lit in the Beis Hamikdash, but it's actually the Neiros Chanukah. That's the Sholchok Doyle Mishulahen, and that's what compensates for Aaron's missing out on Chanukah Samishkan. So once again, we see that the Chanukah is Sholchok Doyle Mishulahen. It's greater than the original Chinuch, greater than the original Chinuch, because Dafke, because this is a a chinuch that comes out of a midlife crisis. Yeah, it comes out of the 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 the. It, 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 it's it's in the middle of the Bayashani where we were we were actually we 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 uh, we lost our madrega, and 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 we and we didn't allow us and we didn't allow it to continue, and we rose from the challenge, and we and we uh, came to a higher madrega. That's be'emes a shulchok doylo mishelohen. That's a shulchok doylo mishelohen. That's greater than a chinuch in the beginning, because in the beginning, you know, there's there's excitement, and therefore, in a sense, it's easier to uh, be inspired, but to bring to to to, to become inspired in the middle of the tkufa by yisheni when we're overcome by fatigue and when 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 things are. Are, are are down and out to, to, to rise in that situation. That's a shulchok dolom shulhan, and that's why shulchok hayomim la'olam, because one that knows how to 
bimischadesh, even along the way, along the way, that kind of chinuch is kayim loyla, is kayim loyla. And you know, you know that that in Poshet Pshat, I mean that that the Nechama of Aharon is really with the Hadlokas Haneris in the Mikdosh. So the Rabban asks, I mean, why did he? Why was he menachem him with the Hadlokas Haneris in the Mikdosh? I mean, Aaron it brings the Ktoris, all the Avodas. I mean, why is the Hadlokas Neiros in particular the Nechama for not participating in the? So you know that the the in the Rashbam in Parshas Baloitzcho he says Baloitzcho lefisha meleches todir hizu because this is a constant avoider. I mean, it's a daily thing. His kirokan he mentions it over here. Afal pishe kol melochoi sa mishkan nigmeru, even though all the melochos of the mishkan were already done. Now this Ramban, I mean, this Rashbam seems to be difficult because, I mean, he's comparing the, comparing and contrasting the Hadlokas Samanoira to the Malachas Samishkin. The Malachas Samishkin means, I mean, they made the, they made the Mishkin, they made the Klea Mishkin. That's Taka over. But none of the Avoidists that take place in the Mishkin I mean, we're just starting. So why is he saying that he, he, he that, that even though all the Malachas Amishkin was nigma, but the Menorah is Todir? So Lechorah, the Taich could be as if he state in Sefer HaChinuch, Mitzvah Tzadik Ches, the Mitzvah of Hadlokas Amenorah, he says that the Hadlokas Amenorah is to, because to illuminate the Mikdash, because uh, a palter in Shomelech, a palter, a palace of a king should be illuminated. Kum is that the mitzvah of Adlokas Amenorah is not just a mitzvah that takes place in the Mikdosh, in the Mishkan, like the Karbonis. No. Adlokas Amenorah really redefines the Mishkan in itself. It makes it into a Mishkan that's illuminated. So it's part of the Malachas HaMishkon. But this is the part of Malachas HaMishkon, which is Todir, because it's every day that you make the Mishkon illuminated. This is really, they, they made a Chinuch once, but in a sense, Aaron is making a Chinuch every day. And Be'emes Hazoi Shteit Norachayim HaKodesh, in Parshish Ba'aloi Sucho, he says, he says, Shaomru be menaches be perik base, be perik base midas. Yeah, that peches. It says in menaches keitzad oise. So how did the coin clean the the the, the menorah and light it? Mesalkon he took off the cups that held the oil. Umanichan be oil. Umekanichan be svoig. He washed it out I mean, with a sponge. Venoisim be am shemen and he puts it back onto the menorah. It's a that the neiros were kavua in the menorah. They weren't taken out. That the 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 cups were on 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 konim dakim. from so every day, the Koyan would turn over the cups. While they were still attached, according to this man, to the Konim, but we would turn them over, empty them out, clean them, and be zoikif them, klape maimu. And then he says, ukafize naskil kavonas tshuvas Hashem laharen. According to this, we'll understand what Hashem answered to Aharon. Ki Aharon hoyom is aneach al Chanukah Samizbeach. Aharon felt bad that he wasn't part of the Chanukah Samizbeach. Ve'yishivu ya Kodesh Baruch Hu chayecho shol chok doilu mishalayim. Pirush, ma'isa ha-menorah, she'moyrit ha-neirois, u'manichan ba'oyel, u'mekanchan, v'choyzer, u'boyin ha-oisa me'chodesh u'matliko, harei hu kol yoyim ka'oisa ma'isa chodesh, she'mechan lechis ha-menorah, b'chol hadloka v'hadloka. So again, the, 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 the hadloka is ha-menorah in the Mikdosh, was an ongoing chinuch. 
was an ongoing chinuch as opposed to the Chanukah Sa Nesin, which was a one-time chinuch. Aaron's chinuch was a daily chinuch. It was an ongoing chinuch. That's like the Pesach says, Chanuch lenar al pi darkoi. Gam kiyazkin lo yosir mimenu. The Alter von Kelm used to say that uh, in Pashtas it means he won't, he won't, he won't uh, leave the path that you were mechanachim in. He won't abandon the way. But the 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 Alter von Kelm used to say, Chanuch lenar al pi darkoi. Gam kiyazkin lo yosir mimenu. He won't abandon the way of Chinuch. He'll continue to be mechanach himself. It's an ongoing, it's an ongoing chinuch that one needs to be mechanach himself. If one is mechonach the way he should be mechonach, then he understands that chinuch is behemoth, an ongoing process that one needs to self-educate himself and be mechanach himself. And chinuch is a loshnaz like Rashi says in Parsha Shoftim. So it's the ability to begin every day fresh and new and not, and not, uh, not become old. In other words, Gamki Yaskin, you're not a Yaskin because you're always in a in a in a frame of mind of Chinuch. You're always in a frame of mind of beginning. Like you know, the Yitzhahara is called Melech Zokain Uksil. Because if, if, if you're old, you become a Ksil. But about Klal Yisrael, it says, Nar Yisrael Oyhavehu. In other words, that's the Mila of, of always being young, of always being young. Umemela, umemela, that's the, the, the message of, of, of the fact that we don't celebrate the Chanukah of the Mikdash the first time. We don't celebrate the Chanukah of the Mishkan. We dafka celebrate the Chanukah that took place during the time of Bayez Shani because that's a much greater madrega, the ability to be Mishadish, dafka in the middle and, 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 to, and, and to transform the, the, the regression into a progression and to come to a matzav of the Chor Siso, Shem Godel, the Kodesh Boy Lomecha. You know, it's interesting that it says, it says, this posik of Chanoich Lenar al Pi Darkoi, Gam Ki Yazki and Lo Yosim Imenu. So in the Midrash Rabbe, it says on the, in, in, in Bereshis Rabbe, on the posik, Vayelech Ruven, the Yemek Tzir Chitim. Yes, so that's the parsha where Ruvain finds the dutoin. Bayelech Ruvain be a make tzirchitim. The medrash says, Chanoich lenar al pidarkoi, gam ki yazkin lo yosur mimeno, yutan es ha'oretz hazois la'avodecha. That's the Loshna medrash, meaning that the medrash sees in the yutan es ha'oretz hazois la'avodecha, in the fact that Aver hayardain, was given to Shevet Ruvain, that's the Gamki Yazkin Loy Yosur Mimenu, which is, uh, which is, um, which connects to the Vayelech Ruvain be a make tzirchitim. Now, what in the world is the connection between Vayelech Ruvain be make tzirchitim? And the fact that Shevet Reuven gets a chelik in Eva Ayad. So the, the, the pshat is on, 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 a, on, on the surface that just like, I mean, Reuven, he was really on his way. I, I'll tell you what the Yedei Moshe says. The Yedei Moshe is a classic pirush on the Midrash Rabbah. He says, She'omer ha'kosuf, she'hoyo yimei k'tzir chitim. Why did the Pasuk have to talk after it was you make Tzir Chitim? It could have just said, Vayelech Ruvah, Vayim to the Dorm Basov. Teret says, El Aroma Zakosim, Shaholach be you make Tzir Chitim, Lich Tzir Chitim. That he was on his way to be Koy Tzir Chitim. In other words, he had, he, he had a goal. I mean, he, he was going on his way to be Koy Tzir Chitim. Umotso Dudoim, Koy Dama Chitim, Bechaz Ala Beisoy. He found Dudoim. Before he before he got to the chitim, he found the door and he went back home. I mean, so so just like over here, he was on his way to get chitim, but he saw the door, so he went back home. He took the door and he went back home. So also, Reuven was on his way to Eretz Yisrael, but 
he saw Eva Yad and his gun's good. So he took Eva Yad. So what's the message? I mean, what, what, what are we supposed what, 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 what are we being this ball from? That Kanoich Lenar al P Darkoi, Gam Ki Yaskin, Lo Yosemimen. It could be maybe that the chat is like this. Sometimes people they they lock in on their goals and they don't have the flexibility and they don't they don't notice opportunities that present themselves and therefore they 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 miss out on 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 on, on opportunities. I mean, Ruvain had that ability that even though he was vayelech Ruvain v'yemeikzichitim and he was bemis on his way to be koitzichitim, but nevertheless he noticed that an opportunity presented itself, and he uh, recalculated, I mean, uh, his, 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 his derech, and he, and he took the dudoim, and he took the dudoim. So, so, uh, but it's interesting that that same Ruvain, I mean, we find also in a negative sense, that Pachas Kamayim, Al Toysar Yaakov Avinu says, he was Mavaldel Yitzuei of it, and that's, Yaakov says that that's a meter of pachas, that he rushed, and he, over there also, he seized an opportunity, but he, it's, it's, it's negative and not positive. So, you know, it says, by Yoshev Ruvein al by Mechir Yosef, it says, by Yoshev Ruvein al Abor, by Heichon Hoyo, Zog Michazal, Rebeleza Oime, Besakoi, Ubetanisoi. In other words, he was busy doing tshuva on the height of Bilbel, Bilbel Yitzue Oviv. Kishenifne, he got up from the sack of Tainis, holach the heitz it's loisoi bor, he looked into the bor, hado dexiv ha-yosh of Reuven ala bor. Omalei ha-kodesh borchu. And va-yosh of Reuven ala bor, the medrash is teaching in the sense, the medrash is teaching in the sense of tshuva. Va-yosh of Reuven ala bor. Nobody ever did shuva sin that did shuva before before you. The Ezer says, "Eh, chayecho she ben bincha oimidu peser b'tshuva tchilu." That your ainikol oishaya will be peser b'tshuva. The Ezer says, "Oishaya she nema shuva Yisrael Hashem alikech." So we see that Reuven that saved Yosef and he said, "Al tish bechudam." He was busy still with the uh, Sakai Vitanisoi on the Pachas Kamayim. So Lechera, you would say that somebody who, who, who actually, his sin was Pachas Kamayim, that he jumped at an opportunity and he did the wrong thing. You would say that now his tshuva would be that he would deliberate. He wouldn't take initiative so easily it would undermine his self-confidence. He wouldn't go against his brothers. He would, he would, he would, he would, uh, he would uh, become a shtickle, a shtickle uh, passive. He's busy now doing tshuva on the pachas kamayim, but no, it doesn't hold him back from doing the right thing, from seizing the opportunity and doing the right thing. And even though it's not so clear that it's the right thing, because it's my main boy. But nevertheless, if it comes out to him that this is the best he can do at this particular moment, he goes and does it. So you see, that's the beauty of, of Ruven's tshuva, because that's the chanoich lenar al pi dar koi gam ki yaskin lo Just like educating a child is not to break him, but actually to teach him how to use his qualities in the, in the right way. So Ruvain didn't give up on his quality of pachas. He, 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 that, 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 that open-mindedness and that ability to be alert to all the opportunities, opportunities that present themselves that allowed him to find the dudoim. And that same, that same mead, he held on to it. He did shuva for the wrong turns that he made, but nevertheless, he 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 didn't become paralyzed. And Adi Rabbi Vayoshev Ruvein Al Habor Mitoiches Tshuva Mitoiches Tshuva. He continued to grow in the right way, and he noticed the opportunity to save Yosef, and he and he did what he can. 
No, and Mamela, we could say, you know, the Bavusta Medrish Plia, Hadudoim Nosnu Reach, Val Psochenu Kome Godim, that the Medrish says, Hadudoim Nosnu Reach, the Ruven Shehitzel as Yosef, Val Psochenu Kome Godim, Elu Nere Schanek, and Shimatlikim al Absochim, that these, thing, these two things are taken connected because Ruven Shehitzel as Yosef is the understanding that. Of 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 chanoich lenar al pi dar koy gam ki yaskin lo yosim imenu that self education is also in the sense of lo yosim imenu that hold on to your midas and use them in the right way and the ability to be meschanech even in the middle of your life I mean not to be stuck and not to be locked in on your on 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 on, on the derech. But to have that ability of vayimtzo dudoim basoda, and that is the chshivus of the neres chanukas shematlikim al apsochim, the maila of chanukas ha chashmoinoim over the chanukas ha mishkan. In the beginning, the maila of a chinuch along the way, a chinuch along the way. Okay, Rabbi Sai. Having said that, uh, you're mistamagin a light chanukah with yeah.